Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another CMU comparison video. In this one, we are comparing 1.11.6 to the latest release 1.12.0. As you can clearly see on screen, 1.12.0 in a quite shocking fashion to me is outperforming 1.11.6 by quite a large margin. The differences in performance were actually so large at some parts of the game that I actually had to do several tests and retests to make sure that all the numbers I was seeing were correct. The current CPU I am using is a 7700K clocked at 4.7GHz, 16GB of DDR4 3000MHz RAM and a GTX 980Ti as my GPU. The game profile edits I am using are accurate shader mall equals min and I am also using a triple core recompiler with RDTSC turned off. The only graphics packs in use in all of these benchmarks are a 1080p resolution pack, FPS++, the frame rate unlocking graphics pack and I am also using LZWX crash workaround graphics pack in order to mitigate most of the in-game crashes in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This next area, Zora's Domain, is actually one of the most surprising areas for me. This area in general has the best performance for me out of all of the main cities in the game. However, as you can see, CMU 1.12.0 is absolutely destroying 1.11.6 for performance in this area. It is actually due to the performance differential in this Zora's Domain area that I had to recheck and make sure that all of my settings were correct between my different CMU versions from test to test. However, even after completely reinstalling, re-downloading and getting absolutely everything fresh for both versions 1.11.6 and my 1.12.0 tests, this performance difference was still there. The only reason I can see in the changelog for CMU 1.12.0 is the fact that in the 1.12.0 changelog we were told that there were some CPU JIT changes mostly in relation to recompiled functions. Regardless of what has changed, I am still happy to see a performance increase even though it is quite slight in some circumstances on CMU 1.12.0. In our final benchmark area, the Great Plateau, we are once again seeing absolutely massive performance differentials between 1.11.6 and 1.12.0. This area is another one of the areas, as previously mentioned, that made me have to completely retest and recheck all of my settings for both emulator versions. In all of these tests, I am also using the CMU Options Experimental Setting GX2 Drawdown. For anybody who's not aware, this setting gives you better, more accurate emulation at the cost of performance. In our next scene, we are going to take a look at exactly what kind of performance we are going to be losing in a CMU 1.12.0 when using GX2 Draw Done On and a GX2 Draw Done Set to Off. So as you can see, in CMU 1.12.0, the performance degradation when using a GX2 Draw Done is still in play. However, the use of this settings will give you better usage of the camera rune, less crashes, and NPCs will not be frozen in place like you can see in the off section of this benchmark test. If you do not mind any of the downsides of using GX2 Draw Done set to on, you can simply turn it off and reap the benefits of having slightly better performance. So there you go guys, a quick demonstration of the performance differentials you can expect to see when upgrading from CMU 1.11.6 or any previous version to CMU 1.12.0. At the end of this video, I want to give another massive thank you to all of my new and old supporters over on the BSOD Gaming Patreon. If you want to help support the channel's growth and get your name featured on this thank you list as well as a host of other benefits over on the BSOD Gaming Discord, you can find links to both of these down in the description of this video. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.